What is up, YouTube? Good to be here back at my league rebuild, and we are back with another trade rumor rebuild. DeMar DeRozan, the Hawks, both of them constantly in trade rumors. DeMar DeRozan, who knows where he'll end up, but I'd like kind of like the one with the Hawks. The Hawks definitely need a bit more defense, and DeMar DeRozan definitely does not bring that. But the Hawks, as you know, have stated they're trying to make the playoffs this coming season. Um, they have a lot of youth, so they're willing to make a trade. They have that pick. I don't forget what pick it is, but they're willing to part ways with that pick as well, as long as they bring somebody else to help with the roster and help this team make a playoff appearance. That could mean DeMar DeRozan, Tobias Harris. I don't know what teams are selling, what teams are willing to part ways with, but DeMar DeRozan, one of those guys early on linked to the Hawks, I think. And I'm okay with it. I think Kevin Herter would be the guy that they would be okay trading away as a young piece i think they keep uh everybody else i think they keep deandre hunter i think they keep cam reddish if there is actual movement by the hawks of course they'll have the entire season as long as they're doing okay and then they add one piece and propels them to more than okay because of course they want to make the playoffs like i've been saying um they are willing to part ways with their first rounder so i don't know if i should just throw it in here we'll see if they say yes or they have a counter offer counter offer they want that pick and they want to give us a big. I'll do this one just because the pick was mentioned in like the trade rumors. So, DeMar DeRozan, Atlanta Hawks rebuild coming right up. This first season, I'm not going to do anything. Wow, coach is starting Bembry. I don't know if I like that. We could start Cam Reddish. We could literally start DeAndre Hunter as well, which I think is what I want to do. So, I will change that. Don't know why coach even wants that. Why do you want that? Bench step nine nine man rotation we're moving deandre hunter in and we're probably moving to rosen to the two and then i'm also going to give cam reddish minutes instead of Bembry. so sorry bro sorry bro um i don't know how to give this minute distribution out here seventh man and then sixth man is jeff teague not horrible not the best i don't know and now we got to give a lot more minutes to deandre hunter so actually i could give a few less minutes to cam Scale, po 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 po. Alright, okay, okay. We won't try that again. Uh, Trey Young, De uh, Demar Derozan, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, Clint Capella, is the lineup. Should be good enough for a playoff appearance. Should be good enough for a playoff appearance. Uh, I won't change. Uh, I could put play physical defense, and they might do really, really well. They might do really well. I'll leave neutral defensive aggression the same. I expect them to make the playoffs, but I do expect their defense to struggle a bit. So we will see. Balanced is their proficiency. Seven seconds is better, but I'll leave it on what coach wants to do. Just made some few changes with the rotation. Moved it to nine-man rotation and then started DeAndre Hunter and DeMar DeRozan together. And we'll see what happens in this first season. Drumming for DeRozan. No, the whole point is DeRozan on the Hawks. I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. No changes, really. Just brought in that big piece of DeMar DeRose. Year one, Luka Doncic is the MVP forever linked in their careers. Luka Doncic and Trey Young. But he's 36, 11, and 9.5. His numbers are absolutely ridiculous all the time. Dylan Hassan is the sixth man of the year. Giannis is the defensive player. Most improved is RJ Barrett, Jacques Vaughn, coach of the year. And uh, where's Trey Young at? Where's Trey Young at? There he is, all NBA second team, not far behind of Luka and anybody else. DeMar DeRozan actually makes all NBA third. 47 and 35, we put play physical defense on. They're easily in the 50s. They're easily in the 50s. Of course, we're not going to have a defensive player, I don't think. So that might be what we just need to add to this team. Sprinkle in a little bit of defense. And it's a championship squad. A championship squad. Do we even have to look at the player stats? Not the player stats, the uh, team stats. Like we're kind of a middle of the pack, you know, team right now. 10th in the entire league. Our offense, where's it at? Where's it at? Top 12. And then our defense, 113, which is what? Which is what? We actually have the fourth best defense. I don't know why I read it like that. I feel like if we were 27th in the league, we wouldn't be in the playoffs and we probably wouldn't have a positive differential. But here are the stats. Trey Young and DeMar DeRozan absolute scores. 29 and 11. All-NBA second team. All-NBA third team for DeMar DeRozan with six assists, five rebounds, 26 points a game, one steal. Just don't decline too much because I'm going to need to re-sign you. 
and uh, it's gonna suck if he gets really bad really fast. But for sure, one of his better seasons ever. John Collins, 17 and nine. Jeff Teague, 12 off my bench with five assists. Not a bad six man. Capella, uh, almost a double double, almost two blocks. DeAndre Hunter as a starter as well could get a little bit better. Field goal percentage atrocious, so that's gotta get better. Cam Reddish might be. <laughs> Might be the guy to start for now if if DeAndre Hunter's just gonna chuck up shots like that. But I mean, here we go. Playoffs, first season. Don't expect a championship. We destroy Toronto. No way we destroy Philly, right? No way we destroy Philly. They 4-1 us. Boston versus Philadelphia. Clippers versus Denver. Not a bad conference finals on both sides. Boston takes it. Jason Tatum takes the finals MVP, and we go on to the season where we actually get to make some moves for this team. And see what kind of what, what we gotta fix. See what we gotta fix. Oh, in one season, Demar goes to an 81. You have to be. Does that always happen? No. <laughs> There's no way. What? How am I supposed to win with him now? Okay. Uh, he's still an 81. That's cool. Our main guy is a 91. 86 for John Collins. Capella goes up to an 83. Hunter goes up four. Cam Reddish goes up four. Uh, I signed Taylor Hort Tucker. Somehow he goes up five. I'm guessing they sent him to the G League. Uh, Two-way sharpshooter. That's why I brought him. His defense, his perimeter defense is an A-. minus. So... He should be a great shooting guard. I don't know if he's going to start or not. DeAndre Hunter might start a small forward and then still DeRozan. Uh, Cam Reddish off the bench. Taylor Horde Tucker off the bench. And then Caruso off the bench. Most likely point guard. Uh, bunch of guys that can fit into multiple positions. Wow. Minus five, though. Do I think this is a championship caliber team? Not yet. And with DeRozan, even less right now. But I know this team will eventually win if we keep Hunter, we keep Collins, we keep Cam Reddish, probably even Horton Tucker. Those are going to be some great guys. Um, they're just going to continue to improve, I would hope. At least their potential is like at an A, maybe A minus for some of them. So um, we just got to get a better eighth, maybe ninth man. Fill out this bench to be absolutely elite. And then maybe these starters can push us to a championship. Um, so I'm going to, I guess, try to find a better eighth and ninth, man. I'm not, I'm, I'm happy with Caruso. His defense is good off the bench. You know what? I'll take Marcus Morris off the bench. For now, I'll take Marcus Morris. Uh, I'll see if I can just do it for Caruso and maybe second rounders. We go from there. And then I try to find another better bench piece, either eighth man, ninth man. They accept with second rounders. And I'm going to go ahead and add Bruno Fernando. Yes, he is young. Uh, we do have Capella here, so maybe, I mean, I'm going to throw in both first round to see what we have out here. This right here would make my bench elite, and I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it, Colin, Dennis, why not? Uh, yeah, two first rounders, but I'm going to see if I could just throw in maybe just one. Um, they wanted Rondo, right? Just one first rounder. They have a counter offer. They want a later, later, but top 10 protected. So I guess we would still have that OKC one to go find a center. But this, damn. That makes my team insane, and you know what center I can go get, right? You know what center I can go get. I'll go into Trade Finder one more time just to see what I can find, but that literally makes my bench ridiculous. Wait, who's going to be the odd man now? If I get a center, clearly Bruno Fernando isn't. Collins starting. Am I okay with that? Perimeter def defense C minus. No, I'm not okay with that. So we would still start Hunter. He would be our sixth man score off the bench alongside Dennis, which would be insane. Then we have Marcus Morris, Cam Reddish. So Horton Tucker would be the odd man now once we bring in a center. So it looks like Bruno Fernando, Horton Tucker, unfortunately, but he'll probably bring us something back. That's pretty nice. Glass cleaning lockdown, Jared Allen. Why not? How much is he making? How much? 17 milli. Oh, I don't know if I have enough to trade away like that. Um, eight million here. We would be accepting in four million, which is not what Bruno Fernando was making. So, uh oh, uh, Marcus Morris, I guess. Marcus Morris, we bring in one bench piece back. We should be okay. Grant, Jeremy Grant, beautiful. What does it take for this to go through? They don't have it. Okay, good thing we have first rounders. Good thing we have first rounders, and you'll say yes because uh, okay, we only had to throw in two. For some reason, ours are still valuable. But our team looks sick. Our team looks sick. I don't want Colin Sexton starting, like I said. So we're going to go DeRozan at the two. And then we're going to go Hunter at the small forward. Just for defensive purposes. Sexton as the sixth man, seventh. Okay. Uh, Cam Reddish, probably eighth man. And then ninth man, Grant. Yeah, I want to do that. I want to do that a little bit more than the other way around. Dennis, 24. Colin, 27. Jared Allen could get 28, sure. And then we could run small ball or whatever. John at the... Center spot, Hunter at the four spot, small ball lineups. 
and that is my minute distribution i kept these same codes just because just because we'll see if we could win with him if not it's whatever um but hopefully the rosen doesn't get even what he hopefully just goes down one or two he stays like at an 80 he'll be an okay starter um or might be coming off my bench next season but he's that one vet he's that one vet with a lot of youth a lot like <laughs> legit everybody's so young okay then it's that other guy that other vet hopefully leading the way alongside us and then jeremy grant could be a vet as well teaching this youth teaching this youth and not only that i guess oh wait we did have rondo off the bench but not anymore he would have been a great mentor to everybody seven seconds play physical defense different center and jared allen a different bench which to me is elite and uh we made it past the first round surprisingly as a six seed we'll see where we finish i'm hoping top three I'm hoping top three, and I think we can. Second season, 56 and 26. Luca continues his tear. Uh, Sean Bosch, that is really weird to say. A rookie of the year, Derek Rose, six man. Beautiful. Beautiful. D Rose, the sixth man for the Bulls. Defensive player, Jonathan Isaac. Josh Hart is the most improved. And Lloyd Pierce, wait, we're coach of the year already? Why? No All NBA team at all. What? kind of whack kind of whack defensive team are we out here um why would we be why would we be but why are we we're second i guess are we tied with the number one seed on our side team stats 59 no we're not 59 56 we get coach of the year i guess maybe they saw that we didn't have all these superstars and they gave it to us they gave it to us i don't know uh offensive wise we are the fifth best offense defensive wise we are the what is that five six six the best differential where we at third best and uh i mean we can make a deeper run hopefully get to the conference finals would be an upgrade here demar Derozan goes down from literally scoring 27 26 and a half to 16 his assisting still good his rebounding got a little bit worse but god damn demar yeah it's a few more last minutes but still bro from an 80 what six to an 82 right now collins going 16 off the bench 18 and 12 for john collins uh dennis 14 J uh jared allen 10 and a half and 10 and a half with almost two blocks deandre hunter get better please he's getting better he's shooting better okay i'm cool with that camera is seven off the bench he might end up being i mean these guys are gonna end up being the starters and uh i guess we rotate some people from my bench because we're building around the youth still and DeRozan was supposed to help us get to the playoffs. He did that in the first season, but I don't think he's going to be the difference maker of us winning a championship. We destroyed Toronto last season, unless they changed their team drastically. View box score. Kawhi well, that helps. Well, that <laughs> that helps in me saying, dra yeah, that's drastic. That's a drastic change. Toronto doesn't make it. We make it back-to-back -back seasons to the second round. The champions are Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks. Um, shoot, Kawhi Leonard kind of ruined it there for me. But uh, we go again and again and again until we win a championship. Of course, I'm not worried that we will win a championship. Uh, it's just a question of when because our team's so young. They'll continue to improve. Um, it's just DeMar DeRozan's going to keep getting worse. Good thing is this ain't a retiring a champ. It's kind of just a trade rumor rebuild for which I could win whenever, as long as I have him on my team. You know, I don't have to start him. New coach, a few improvements, and now Colin Sexton is starting for me. Not the greatest defender, but DeAndre Hunter has improved drastically to an 84. Uh, Trey Young, a 91. John Collins, an 87. Jared Allen still an 82 here. Uh, Cam Reddish goes up to an 80. I don't know how much he went up. Uh, but he went up. Uh, Dennis, still an 80. We signed Chris Boucher. DeMar DeRozan, a ninth man for us. And uh, Jeremy Grant, a 10th man. So, um, bench is deep. Starters are solid. He, Trey Young might still need another superstar. Or not a superstar, but at least a star around him. Uh, it might be enough. It might be enough. It might not be. Seven seconds because it is the best proficiency that we have. And everybody seems relatively happy with it. Hence, hat being the best one that we do have. So let's go ahead, simulate this one. And uh, third season here, better coach, better team. Now starting the best player since DeMar DeRozan got quite a bit worse again. Back to back to back seasons for Luka Doncic. He wins a championship last season. Before that, it was Boston. It's our turn. We're 70 and 12. How? I don't know. We're 70 and 12. Maybe it was the coach. Maybe um, it was DeMar DeRozan starting. No idea. But MVP again for Luka. Ken Moore is the rookie of the year. Sixth man is Mo Bamba. Jonathan Isaac, defense player. They're still both on the Magic. Uh, Jared Culver, most improved for the Wolves. Trent Peterson, 70 and 12. Like... God damn. Defense still a weak spot for us. As you can tell, our offense is a 99. Our defense is an 83. So we're relying a lot on our offense. 
seven seconds or less, stuff like that. Like we, it, it. and now it's playoff time. And now it's playoff time where teams, where where the offense slows down a bit. We'll, we'll see what happens. Offensive threat. Trey Young makes an All NBA second team for us. Is there anything else on this? I do not think so. It would be a surprise seeing a defensive member, considering we don't really play defense. But we'll still be one of the best defensive teams out here. Watch 70 and 12. Best team by seven games. Best offense by 0.7 points. Uh, the Mavericks are good, man. The Mavericks are good and the best defense in the entire NBA, even though our defense is only an 83. And the differential is 19. If we go up against the Mavericks, that's going to be a freaking series there. But who do they even? Ah. Ah, I get it. Porzingis, Anthony Davis, Luka Doncic. That's just not fair. That is just not fair. What do the Grizzlies have? Have they... KD? Pelicans, of course, have that youth that just improves to be ridiculously great. They Did they get... Uh, no, they got DeAndre still there. They got Michael Porter Jr. this time around. Celtics, probably the same old team. No major changes to them. Um, wow. 27 a game. 11.6 assists. He's got to be up there in MVP voting as well. But I guess because Luka's a freaking triple-double... Wait, how much is Luka scoring with that squad? He's still scoring 38 when he has Anthony Davis and Porzingis. Okay, I don't know what the heck's going on there, but yeah, that's really ridiculous. 19 for Colin, now starting five assists, uh, 18 and 11 for our guy, John Collins. Uh, Dennis, 14 off the bench. Cam, 12 and four and two off the bench with a steal a game as well. DeAndre Hunter starting for defensive purposes. Not even a steal, but that's okay. That's not how we measure defense. Jared Allen, 10 rebounds, 2 blocks. DeMar DeRozan, the last guy off my bench. But Chris Boucher getting, what, 7-7. Seven and seven. He's getting 8-2. and two. You know our team is deep, and we have a 10th man of Jeremy Grant, who is so uh, versatile, and he's not getting any minutes for our team. 4-1, the Orlando Magic, up the, against the Miami Heat. 4-1, the Miami Heat. 4-1, Philly. Or 4-0 Philly, but we are up against the number one seeded Dallas Mavericks with that huge big three. Uh, Chandler Hutchinson now at their small four. Is that who was starting before? It was this guy, right? I guess they want Chandler. I mean, oh my gosh. That team's stupid. That team's ridiculous. Watch us 4-0 them for no reason. Because 2K is weird. Luka Doncic, you're bad. You're horrible. You're trash. So are you, Anthony Davis. Oh my. GG's. GG's. Championship, 4-1, the MVP, the, the defending champs, and a team with Anthony Davis, Porzingis, and Luka Doncic gets taken down by essentially one star, right? Trey Young, one superstar in Trey Young. Maybe we could count in John Collins since he is a high overall there, but I, I, it was just Trey Young, 22-11, and 47%, 45%. We win it with DeMar DeRozan. Good thing we won it here because um, it was getting kind of bad. He was about to fall out, out of the rotation. Gave us that experience in the playoffs. Got to the second round. Then the second year, we also got to the second round. And then we finally broke through with this squad and uh, won a championship. Trey Young, John Collins, DeAndre Hunter, Colin Sexton, Jared Allen, Cam Reddish, Dennis, Chris, DeMar, Jeremy Grant. Players that kind of got minutes besides Jeremy Grant. Drop a like. Drop another rumor down if you've heard of something uh, that is that is feasible. That is not too outlandish. That makes sense with the money, with the players that are being traded. Nothing too ridiculous that doesn't make any sense. But like I was saying, drop a like. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.